Hi, I'm Pam Fox. Thank you for watching. All right, I'm going to try to knock out one more video. I'd like to talk about rheumatoid arthritis. So when I was eight years old, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And it was a textbook case. It was polyarticulate, which means it was in most all of my joints. And it was pretty severe. I was pretty limited as a kid growing up um, in terms of what I could do. Uh, the range of motion in most of my joints was very limited. Um, in my elbows, I couldn't touch my shoulders. I had very limited range of motion. In my fingers, this was about as much as I could move. You know, I couldn't make a fist. My wrists barely moved, just a little bit like this. I couldn't pull, you know, my hands back. And I was in a lot of pain and inflammation all the time. So not very fun for Pam. I was told though, the good news by my rheumatologist. And by the way, I did go through what was conventional treatment for at that time. Um, as far as I know, they weren't using the immune suppressants that they use now for rheumatoid arthritis. Thank God. I'm glad for that. Um, but I did, I was a, a, a a patient at the children's hospital and I went through the treatments that they had at the time, took the medications, did the exercises, went for the physical therapy um, with no, no relief. I was told by my rheumatologist, however, that most kids with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, they grow out of it. And so at around the age of, I think 15, I did notice that I began to have some relief from my arthritis. But I'd had years of damage. So if you know much about rheumatoid arthritis, you know that it's an autoimmune disease and um, your body attacks your own joints. I mean, literally goes in and is attacking the joints. So even though I grew out of the disease, there was a lot of damage that was done over the years to my joints. So there was a lot of rehabilitation that took place over the years after that. But when I got to my 20s, I was, I consider myself pretty healthy. And I had, um, I got married, I had a couple of kids. And I did pretty well for a while. I was also told by my rheumatologist, my rheumatologist, that I could expect to have flare-ups throughout my life, um, that the disease does go in and out of remission, and that I could expect to have arthritis as an elderly person. Those were all pretty much a given. So uh, when I was, I think I was 30, let's see, I was 33. When I was 33, I had my first major flare-up as an adult. Um, it was bad. It was very reminiscent of what it was like as a kid. All of the same joints were highly affected. My range of motion was very poor. I was in pain. I had trouble sleeping. I was exhausted all the time. Um, yeah, and so I went, I was seeing another rheumatologist. He wanted to put me on immune suppressants and I decided against it, which I'm very happy about. I tried many alternative therapies. I did try an elimination diet. Um, the vegan diet, plant-based diet was never really suggested to me. It wasn't on my radar. I went to a homeopath that did suggest an elimination diet, which um, it wasn't a fully plant-based diet, but it eliminated a lot of meats. I think I was allowed to eat fish maybe eggs. I can't remember for certain, but it eliminated gluten and sugar and salt and soy and a lot of meats. Um, I think I was even allowed to eat a little bit of chicken. Anyway, I did it for 30 days and I got a little bit of relief, but not much. Um, but eventually I was doing some, um, I was doing acupuncture a couple times a month. I was doing some water therapy. I was doing, um, I bought a new bed at that point. And that's when I started to notice, that's when I got better actually, within a couple of weeks after getting a new bed. Um, and in conjunction with a lot of these other things, I did, I got better and I haven't had a flare up like that since. In fact, I haven't had a flare up um, since then. That lasted a couple of years, that flare up did. So the reason I want to bring this up is because I know a lot of people, there are a lot of, maybe you're an adult and you're young, um, like me, <laughs> and you have rheumatoid arthritis. People are getting it younger and younger. Um, maybe you have a child with rheumatoid arthritis. I wish my mom, God bless her. She tried everything when I was young and I was in sick. I was sick and I was handicapped and I was limited and I was in pain. 
she had tried everything. She took me to naturopathic doctors. She gave me mushroom tea. She gave me aloe vera juice. She gave me all kinds of vitamins and supplements. She made sure I was eating my leafy green vegetables. She made sure I was doing my exercises. She checked out books about acupressure and just she was always trying to help me um, get some relief from from the disease but nothing worked and a vegan diet I don't think I don't remember that ever being really discussed or even being an option or even coming up and so if you have a child that has rheumatoid arthritis I hope you'll go over and check out Dr. John McDougall's website um, and his diet known as most more famously known as the starch solution he has a lot of people on there that give testimonies and I noticed there are several people on there with children who have gotten um, relief from their rheumatoid arthritis if not complete remission from their rheumatoid arthritis on a on a plant-based diet so i would encourage you to do that if you have a child with um, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis check into the vegan plant-based diet um, eliminate those acidic foods that cause inflammation in the body and start pumping the body full of nutritious healthy plants and if you're an adult who has rheumatoid arthritis you know, I'm not a doctor and you can't take my word for it. There's only one way any of us can find out if this vegan diet can be helpful for their condition and that is to try it. And anybody can try something for 30 days. You can try it for 30 days. Hopefully it'll make you feel better and you will become addicted to eating this way like I have and you will become a lifelong plant-based vegan. But there's only one way to find out. If you are suffering with rheumatoid arthritis, the chronic fatigue, the inability to sleep at night, the limitation because you are limited in everything that you do, uh, the pain, and you're taking pharmaceutical medications. Maybe you're on an immune suppressant. And again, I'm no doctor. You know, I would never take an immune suppressant. And I'm not telling you to go cold turkey and just to stop altogether. But one thing you can do is try a plant based diet and see what happens. And if you find relief, you know, maybe you and your doctor can figure out a way to begin to um, stop taking the immune suppressants. Um, but there's only one way that you'll find out if a vegan diet is going to help you, and that's to try. And so I would really encourage you to, to consider it. To consider it, to look into it, to read the research, to check out Star McDougallers, um, who can testify that being on a plant-based diet has helped them with their arthritis. And then to find the courage to to try it for 30 days if you try it for 30 days and you do have success that will power you on to continue with this lifestyle and in no time at all if you're anything like me um, you'll begin to really enjoy your foods um, you'll really begin to enjoy the energy that you have you'll begin to exercise and enjoy feeling fit and strong and you'll never want to go back to eating the way that you're eating now. And you'll wonder why and how it ever took you so long to get to this point of, of healing and of energy and of feeling, feeling wonderful. Veganism is awesome, guys. It's wonderful on so many different levels uh, for the human body and for healing. I just, you know, I'm just going to continue to make these videos and talk about it and hope that I can get the message to people and that I can inspire others to consider veganism and to try it. And if you think you can't try it for 30 days, you can try anything for 30 days. You know that you can. For 30 days, you can try it for 30 days. That makes it much less intimidating um, when you think about becoming vegan for life. Yeah, that can be intimidating. You know, how could I possibly give up these foods for life? Once you try it, if you have success, that will motivate you to stay, to stay the course and to run the race, you know. So I would just encourage you, if you have a child, that's sick with rheumatoid arthritis, um, or if you yourself are sick with rheumatoid arthritis, there may be a very simple, um, there may be very simple help for you, and it could exist within a plant-based diet. So good luck to you, and um, I hope you'll come back for more. My next video is going to be um, more on my allergies and my asthma, which I touched on a little bit in my very first video, but I want to talk more about my allergies and my asthma. So thank you for watching.